these are the mesquite dunes. And I'm here early enough that the sand is still a little bit cool so I can walk around barefoot. But uh, it's definitely quite the workout going up and down all these dunes. But wow, it is a wonderful place. Very beautiful. Definitely beauty and desolation. This is Uhibi Crater, and um, it's actually created by a steam explosion from magma close to the surface and groundwater seeping down. And when they met, a huge steam explosion blew out. And this crater is actually a half a mile across. <laughs> it's huge. craters and deep gullies. It's really, it's magnificent. I cannot even begin to explain to you just how steep the sides of this crater are. It's, it's incredibly steep. Uhibi Crater is only 2,000 years old, but it's half a mile across and 500 feet deep. And yeah, it's very deep. Brinsky Point. And um, after hiking all day I thought I would just come up really quick and do a, uh, a quick time lapse of the sun going down. And apparently 8,700 other people had the exact same idea. So after I set up the camera, somebody had come up with like 50 feet of railing. They come up and sit down right next to my camera. So I moved it, but I don't know. It's a lame time lapse. Um, but it's really beautiful here, and it's really nice when the sun goes down. And the temperature is like perfect, it's like 70 degrees. So, I'm gonna head back and make some dinner. It's been an awesome, awesome day. Uh, all right. The parking lot has completely filled up. There's like people in the overflow everywhere. This is like one busy ass weekend right here. And I get I get the joy of a Boy Scout troop right next to me. So yay for me.
this is the Harmony Borax Works, and Borax was the most profitable mining here in the valley. And uh, they literally just scraped it off the surface of the ground. And then they would refine it in places like this, where they would boil it in vats and the mud and rocks would sink to the bottom and the crystallized um, borax would go to the surface. But uh, borax won't crystallize at temperatures higher than 120 degrees. So they would have to shut down in the summertime. If you ever heard of 20 mule team borax, well, that's where the term comes from. It's right here in Death Valley. They would literally have 20 mule teams um, pulling the wagons of, of uh, refined borax to market. So if you've ever had 20 mule team borax, this is where it came from. This is the Devil's Golf Course, and um, it's a huge salt flat, and it's, it's dirty salt, but it's totally salt, and it's actually hard as rocks. It looks much more fragile than it actually is. Um, it's actually very hard, and you wouldn't want to fall on this. You would get some punctures and cuts and whatever else. Um, there's actually that little spring back here, and the spring right around it. It is the most pure salt you've ever seen in nature. Um, it's really amazing. It's difficult to walk around here, but wow. These, um, all the crystalline structures that are uh, on the very top. It's amazing. Just salt. Everywhere, salt, salt. Gross. Taste it. Out there. Here, I'll get some for that. So. You know, it doesn't taste as strong as regular salt, honestly. Hmm. It's like there's other stuff, there's other minerals in it. It's not pure, but it's good. I'd use it. All right. I'm going to try the salt. Wow, it is rather mild. It's actually really great. Huh. It's definitely salt. So this is the Brinsky Point. I came back today to do a short hike. And this is what it looks like up close and personal. Along the sides of this gully, you'll see uh, desert holly blooming. It's kind of trippy to see holly in the middle of a desert, but it's here.
Most of the rock here is sedimentary rock that's a really light colored. But every once in a while, you get these really dark colored rocks, which are a uh, volcanic layer. And since all this land is in motion, being upturned and tilted and lifted, different parts are revealed at different times. This is Dante's Peak. I got here just as the sun went over the ridge. And it's over 5,000 feet, and it's very cold and obviously very windy. So I'm just kind of like well, watching the valley as the sun goes down. It's beautiful. The clouds are just about to turn pink. Yeah, what a difference 5,000 feet makes, huh? Badwater Basin is directly below us here. That is the lowest point in North America. It's 282 feet below sea level. 